Storyboard Pro is not your enemy. Let us befriend it together. 1. Customize your hotkeys. Storyboard Pro. Preferences. Shortcuts. Play slash navigation. It's nice to be able to move easily between panels on your timeline. I have selected A to go back and F to go forward. It looks like this. Useful. Put a hotkey on anything that seems like you will need it a lot. 2. Keep layer names consistent. Your storyboards are made up of shots. Shots are made up of panels. Panels have layers. If you are drawing on layer A in one panel and then go to the next panel, Storyboard Pro will keep you on layer A. Handy. This is why if there are multiple characters in a shot, it can be helpful to have a layer for each character and keep each layer consistently named. I wouldn't want to draw Billiam on Felix's lair. Or would I? 3. Selecting across multiple panels. Here I've drawn a scene of a cat and a little dancing gremlin man. Oh no! That gremlin man is too small! Do I resize him in every panel by hand? No. I make sure I'm on his lair and then I select the panels I wish to change in a very special way. Now when I use the select tool, it selects from every panel in the shot. I can move and resize them as I please. 4. Advanced Copy Paste Oh no! I realized the cat needs to look like this instead. Do I manually delete the old cat from every panel and replace him with a new one? No. Right click the layer you want to replace the others with and then choose Copy Selected Layer. Z select the panels where the layer needs to be replaced, like so. You remember. Layer, paste layer special, and check once hold and overwrite existing layers with same name. It's perfect. 5. Auto Matte. Sometimes it's hard to see your character against your background. No one wants to color that in by hand. Fortunately, you do not have to. Auto Matte works best on closed shapes, so if there are any significant gaps in your line work, close them off. Choose the color of your mat. Layer. Generate auto mat. I have a hotkey for this, it's three. And then choose whatever settings you believe are appropriate. Voila! But I need to put a mat on this layer across multiple panels. You know what I'm gonna say. Six. Spread layer motion. With the use of the layer transform tool, you can do tweening in Storyboard Pro. However, it will only allow you to put tweening keyframes on a layer across one panel. This is fine if you only need one panel, but what if I wanted to have the little gremlin man dance while the cat slowly slides closer to him? This shot is already cut into so many little panels so the gremlin can dance. This is how I used to solve this problem. Now forget that you've seen it because I'm going to show you the easy way. Select the layer transform tool. I go down to the timeline and create a new keyframe for the cat's layer, and then another keyframe. On the second keyframe, I position the cat where I would like it to be at the end of the shot. Now it looks like this, but we are not done yet. Layer. Spread layer motion. All panels in same scene. Tweened and non-tweened motion in perfect harmony. Lightning round. This button turns down the opacity of any layer you're not working on. This limits your onion skin to the layer you're working on. If your shot numbers look like hot garbage, click on the first shot in your storyboard, Storyboard Menu, Rename Scene, New Name 1, Renumber Scenes, hit OK, but not before you bask in the glory of that sweet, sweet chronological naming. This isn't comprehensive, but I hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching, and huge thanks to my co-workers at Powerhouse Animation for teaching me literally everything I know about this program.